All right, I needed to change position to show you this uh, part of kinesiology. What it means is this. If he's pulling on a cable right now and he's pulling to his chest, go ahead, Paul. You see how the back muscles work, but you see this is what they call the direct line of pull. These muscles here, the rhomboids, the mid-trap, the posterior deltoid, they are small muscle groups and they get the greatest workload when this arm is always up high. And you'll see this is the same effect when doing bent over rows. So wide grip rows or wide grip seated rows or wide grip pull downs work a lot of the smaller muscle groups. Now, when we narrow the, the grip, let's change bars. Just hold on to that. Turn the hands over. When we narrow the grip, right, and now pull, this will pull in and this angle pulling in is brought through by the back. So I want you to know that the wider you go out like this, the higher up into the smaller muscle groups. Yes, the lats are still working, no question, but it's a percentage change. That means if the lats down here out of position, see that angle? If that angle is still not being fully worked, the lat is only contributing to this pull, say 30, 40%. The rest of it, the 60% is being done by the smaller muscle groups. So when you bring the arm down closer and closer in, now you're bringing this full range of motion in. Much better so through the lat. And less and less, as you can see, less and less out of the small muscle groups. So the percentage of lat workout increases. I'm not saying don't do the exercise wide or do the exercise narrow. I'm saying just understand what it is exactly, what muscle groups you're targeting.